science. I'll just give one more example which is mentioned in the Quran. The Quran mentions in Surah Qiyamah, chapter number 75, verse number 3 and 4, that when the unbelievers say that how will Almighty God be able to reconstruct our bones? After we are dead, we are buried, our bones have got disintegrated. On the day of judgment, how will Almighty God be able to reconstruct our bones? Almighty God replies in the Quran and says, tell them, Almighty God can not only reconstruct the bones, he can even reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of the fingers. What does Quran mean by saying, God can not only reconstruct the bones, he can even reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of the fingers. It was in 1880 that Sir Francis Gold, he discovered the fingerprinting method. And he said that no two fingerprints, even in millions of people, are identical. And today, this fingerprinting method is used by the police to identify the criminal. It's used by CIA, by FBI, by the police worldwide. This Quran mentions 1400 years ago. Francis Bacon, a very famous philosopher, he said, little knowledge of science makes a person an atheist, but in-depth knowledge of science makes a person a believer in God. That is the reason today scientists are not eliminating God, they are eliminating models of God. La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah.